welcome back to another episode here on The Rich Flavor. I am your host, Rich, and I have a great cook for you today. But before I get to that, if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for any future videos that I post. Okay, guys, so I have a great cook today. Uh, I am going to do some chicken wings. Uh, I'm going to do them half and half, so like kind of a half barbecue, uh, sweet and spicy, and then I'm going to do some kind of traditional toss buffalo style wings as well, but they're all going to be cooked on my Weber 22 inch grill using the Vortex cooking system, so stay tuned, see how it comes out. All right, here they are. I got a few pounds here of uh, some party wings. Now these are the full wings. Um, you don't have to have these. You can have the, the individual splits, the drums and the flat separate if you want. But these are more a little bit more traditional style uh, party wing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just toss them in this big bowl. I got some extra virgin olive oil here. I'm going to uh, just drizzle on top of these. And what I did before I uh, put the wings in the bowl is I uh, kind of laid them on, pat dried them off, get all that excess moisture off. And what I want to do is just kind of toss these around and get them nice and coated in this olive oil so that uh, they'll crisp up really nice out there on the Weber. And I'll go ahead and show you all that here in a little bit too, the setup I have for the Weber out there. Okay, that seems really good. All right, now I have uh, some homemade uh, chicken rub here that I made. Um, I'm calling it chicken little rub, <laughs> but it's just some chicken rub there. Um, as a matter of fact, hand, son, open that for me because it's a little hard to do it with this slimy hand here. Okay, so I have my assistant help me out here. Now I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top nice and good. Get that nice and coated. Oh, and it smells really good. This is a really good rub uh, that I made here. And I just kind of came up with it myself, so I'll just... Tinker, tinkering around with some spices and I said this might be good for some chicken a little bit more I just want to get this nice and coated all over the chicken and right now the the grills coming up to temp so and it's going to get really hot with that vortex. But you see the, uh, the wings here, they're really nice and coated. They got that uh, season all over them. And you can use as much or as little as you want. You know, pick your own seasoning or if you like to make your own seasoning. I had a, uh, a commenter uh, in the, uh, one of my videos say, you know why don't I make my own rubs and I was like yeah you're right why don't I make my own rubs and uh, you know I have it pretty much everything I need to do it so okay that's good right there now let's go ahead and get these on the grill and uh, get them fired up okay guys here we are at the Weber 22 inch kettle I have the vortex style uh, grill, or I'm sorry, vortex style cooking system. I don't think it's the vortex. I think it's called like whirlwind or whirlpool or something like that. But anyways, it's a vortex. Uh, I have the charcoals in the mill here. And this, what this does is funnels all the heat into one concentrated area. When it hits up off the dome, it has like a convection style cooking method. But these are ready to go. They're nice and hot. Um, I have foil lined around there just catch any drippings and so there's not that much of a mess. I always say it's good to uh, clean your your grill up or keep it as clean as possible. Now we're just going to put these around here and this thing is hot and it's hot out here dude. It's probably over 100 degrees today. 
uh, course here, Texas. Love my state, but man, it can be hot sometimes. And I just want to put these around the area here. I don't want them too close to that funnel because they will start to uh, overcook. this now you gotta be careful when you're trying to reach around this thing this thing is so hot that I've had it burn hair off of my uh, off of my arms before so you gotta be really careful when you're putting stuff around this thing that you don't uh, that you don't get too close to that uh, to that grill because man I could feel it I could feel it right here this um, you know intense amount of heat Oof. we're almost done here let's try and squeeze some of these in here These shouldn't take too long to cook. Maybe about 30 minutes or so. Oh, that is hot, guys. All right, that is really hot. Now, what I like to do is I like to take one of these little wood chunks of a little piece of hickory. And I just throw it in the middle there. Okay, this is, uh, this is the old grate to my, uh, uh, the original Weber this is the original grate because uh, that heat is so intense in the middle there that it's worn out the uh, enamel from the the grill so I uh, I'm not going to use one of my expensive hinge grates or anything like that this is perfect for it that wood's going to already smoking let's go ahead and throw this lid on and uh, let these roll okay so I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, hot sauce that I'm going to make to use to uh, toss some of these wings in and uh, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like right now okay guys uh, let me go ahead and show you the wing sauce I'm gonna make to toss some of these wings in I just have some regular like uh, Louisiana style hot sauce here and uh, we'll just go ahead and pour that in here I'll probably just pour the whole thing Okay. really simple really easy it's nothing uh, spectacular I have some melted butter here uh, about two tablespoons that's just to give it some, some kind of silkiness I guess <laughs> and then I'm gonna take more of that rub that chicken rub that I made and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in probably about a teaspoon now, of course, you would have to, uh, if you're doing a lot of wings, I'm not doing that many. Uh, you know, if you're doing a lot of wings, you're going to want to uh, adjust your recipe. So, um, this was probably, what is this, 17 fluid ounces. It was probably closer to 15, though. You know, I can use Louisiana hot sauce for just, you know, buy anything around the house, so. Oh, but this is going to be good, guys. Some of that butter and some of that chicken rub in here to kind of coat in those wings after they're done cooking. And that's it. These things are uh, this ready to go, so when uh, the wings are done, I'll show you that, and I'll uh, show you how I toss them into the uh, this wing sauce, so stay tuned. Okay guys, here we are. Uh, they've been on for about 15 minutes. And uh, let's go ahead and see how they look right now. Uh, put this off to the side there. Oh yeah. Look at that. These guys look great. And you see, you can see they got cooked all the way around 360 degrees because of that convection style of cooking. So technically, I don't even have to flip these, but I want to flip half of them because, oh man, that rub smells so good. The juice just dripping off of that chicken there. Oh God, these are so good. 
<laughs> Definitely have to try these. Uh, watch that funnel because it is hot. So I'm going to flip some of these here. Let's see how many that is. Count that for me, son. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good. Public school's working. He knows how to count. All right, eight there. Nine, ten. Okay, that's uh, ten and ten, so we'll, or more or less ten and ten. I'm just going to flip these uh, over for, you know, to get a little bit more crisp on this side. But, oh my God, these look delicious. They don't need too much more to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, barbecue sauce real quick and uh, brush some of the wings on, uh, brush some of the wings so they, uh, I can do some uh, barbecue wings and then some hot wings, more traditional hot wings and move those off the grill there. So let me go ahead and get that and I'll be right back. Okay. Here we are back. I just have some uh, barbecue sauce here. I'll put a photo of which sauce this is. I believe it's the G Hughes uh, Sweet and Spicy. So I'm going to do it on this side because I don't want to have to reach over <laughs> to get those other ones. And then I'm going to let this uh, cook for a little longer. But these wings are pretty much done. Um, they're, they're cooked. It doesn't take long, like I said, maybe about half an hour the most, you know, to uh, to cook these. Um, I think it's been closer about 20 minutes since I, uh, I put them on. So uh, they went a little longer, um, but I guarantee you in about another 10 minutes, these things are going to be ready to come off the grill. Oh, and it, I wish y'all could smell this, guys. It smells so good. Does it smell good, son? Yes. All right. So he ain't gonna lie either. It's my taste tester right there. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to flip these back over. And you see here that wood chunk just it's burned down to to ash, or right? it's just cinders. If I were to tap that, it would just start falling apart. But, oh my God, these wings smell so good. That that seasoning, oh, I think it's going to be a winner there. The chicken little seasoning I made. Okay, let me go ahead and get this side here. Now we're going to get these covered up, and I want that barbecue sauce to caramelize a little bit on to uh, the wings here so I want it to kind of bake it's gonna have that nice sweet spicy tacky you know uh, consistency to it oh yes look at that don't be shy with this stuff guys don't be shy get it all over there Okay guys, here they are. I already got them off the grill. Uh, first, let me go ahead and apologize. I had some uh, camera difficulties, some technical difficulties. The camera got overheated, so uh, part of the footage cut out, so I'm, I do apologize about that. But like I said, it's really hot outside. It was really hot by that grill, and I think that that's why the uh, camera overheated. But anyways, look, here are the barbecue ones they look great they smell great and they're i think they're just going to be awesome so we're going to try those here in a sec but i'm going to set them off to the side because i want to toss these now remember i made some of this little homemade wing sauce here really simple to do and i'm just going to use the whole thing why not right and so this is uh, important. If you do it this way, you could do it with some uh, some tongs and you could just kind of move these around and coat them. But I don't like doing it that way. That's why I have this big bowl and I can just kind of 
shuffle them around in there. Get them nice and coated. There it is. <laughs> make a mess everywhere. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that. They're coated perfectly with oh, my oven went off or something else we're doing too sorry about that uh, but we're they're perfectly coated in some heavy wing sauce and man they are going to be great all right so let's do what i want to do the most and give these a taste all right let's go ahead and give these a taste son go ahead my son's just gonna try a, a barbecue one for right now but this is a hot wing or this is one of the ones dipped in buffalo sauce cheers son he's got the barbecue one mm. 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 it is finger licking good <laughs> mm. man that is good that rub oh my god the rub, I can taste the seasoning. It really enhanced the flavor of the chicken. That little bit of smoke we put on there really brought these chicken wings to life. The uh, the buffalo sauce is excellent. It's, you know, the way buffalo sauce should be. Kind of messy, kind of, you know, sticky and gooey on your fingers to make you want to, you know, lick your fingers clean. <laughs> All right, so what I do normally for these flats is I like to take that back end off. Pull out one of the bones here. And let me go ahead and give this, this is the buffalo, or the uh, barbecue. I didn't taste this one, so. Oh, man. Hey, Dad, could I try a bite of the spicy? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. Golly, those were good. Okay. Yeah. The bar, the, uh, so you can't even stop eating it. So. <laughs> the, the barbecue sauce one. Sweet, uh, you know, great flavor. Can definitely still taste the spices. The smoky flavor goes perfect with that barbecue sauce. And I'm getting a little bit more heat on that back end. That sauce isn't like, you know burn your mouth off but it creeps up on you a little bit and that's what it's doing right now this was excellent cook guys uh, definitely try this you don't need a vortex to do it just do your offset thing but I will tell you this the wings won't come out as crispy probably if uh, you don't have that uh, attachment that vortex attachment this really gets those wings super crispy and the flavor is just it, it can't be beat Okay, guys, so I, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of The Rich Flavor, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.